a new arrest in the violent confrontation between a group of bikers and an SUV. Police tell CNN tonight that one of the men who chased down the SUV and assaulted the driver last weekend has now been charged with gang assault, among other charges. But this development comes as we are learning new information about something shocking. How many undercover officers, plural, took part in that motorcycle ride? And why didn't they do anything? Susan Candiotti is out front. And Susan, first, what do we know about the person who has now been arrested? Yeah, this just happened. He's 29 years old. He's from Brooklyn. His name is Craig Wright. And police are now saying that he used his fist to punch out the window, that he used his fist, helmet, and feet to hit and strike and beat Alexander Lien, Alexian Lien, who is the driver of the SUV, after pulling him out of the vehicle. And we've also learned that the spiker pleaded guilty last year to operating his motorcycle without a license. So he's got a lot of things going on. He's supposed to be in court tonight for his first appearance. In court tonight. That's right. All right. Now, so, so I mean, obviously, when you list those things, I mean, that was a violent confrontation, mm -hmm. even though, of course, as we know, the driver also did run over some bikers. So there's that part of it. But what about this revelation that there were police, multiple police, who were in the gang undercover? Were they just in the gang on their free time? Were they actually working? Why didn't they do anything? I mean, these are the questions that we all want to know. We know now that there are at least two undercover off-duty, and that's the key thing, off-duty detectives that were part of that rally, and at least one of them witnessed the assault. So the question is if they were off-duty. It doesn't matter whether they were on-duty or off-duty. Quite frankly, everyone wants to know, regardless, if you see something, why wouldn't you say something right then and there? Or right. if you didn't want to blow your cover, as one of them has allegedly said, why not report it later on that night or when you left the rally? Which so they didn't for days. Four days. Four days went by. So we're waiting for an explanation for all of that. Internal affairs investigating. These guys are on desk jobs while everything is straightened out.